Wow, 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 wow. Hello, friends. I want to take this time to welcome you for another video in Repost Lectures. I want to take this time first to, before we begin the video, I want to encourage you, please subscribe to my channel. Please like my channel. Uh, and then share my videos to your friends, to your aunties, to your people around. Uh, we love you so much. Today, we are going to cover a video under Math 3, Indian Math 3. And the video is about uh, partial differential equations. So, we're going to study what are partial differential equations? What are PDEs? What are they? So, number one, we're going to talk about what, is, what are PDEs. They will talk about what the application of PDEs in engineering. We shall also talk about how do they denote PDEs. We're going to talk about the mathematical notation of PDEs. We shall talk about some of the classification of PDEs. Then we shall also talk about the steps which are followed to analyze systems in PDEs. So, but in PDEs, we have to model systems. We are going to solve system models. So, how do we do it? So, number one, let's pass before we, we go any further. We have to first understand what are PDEs. Now, PDEs, a PDE is an equation involving one or more partial differential equations of an unknown function with two or more independent variables. So, a PDE is, is involving more partial derivatives of this nature here. This is a partial derivative of u with respect to what to t. This is an example of a partial derivative of u with respect to what to t. This one is a partial derivative of u with respect to what to x. So now we're going to understand more about x, y, and t. But these are what we call partial derivatives. But it can be in one or more independent variables. Those variables can be like this one has in terms of uh, x, y, and t. So when it is in terms of x and t alone, it is one-dimensional equation. When it is in terms of x, y, and t, it is in what? Two-dimensional. So we shall talk about PDEs in one-dimensional and two-dimensionals. So as we continue, uh, I want to understand what are application of PDEs in engineering. What do you apply? In? What, 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 what should we study PDEs? Why PDEs? So number one, PDEs we study them because uh, they help us analyze heat flow in a shaft. So when heat is flowing through a shaft, some metallic shaft, we can analyze how heat is flowing by setting boundary conditions and initial conditions. An example of this can be maybe you have a shaft of this nature. Uh, we shall consider at this end of the of, of the what of the shaft when x is what zero, then also here when x is what l. This is our shaft. So when x is zero, then when x is what l. So you're going to analyze how it is flowing through this what this shaft. Then number two, we shall also analyze the PDEs are used in fluid mechanics. Hmm? They are used to analyze fluid flow through a pipe. Then also these PDEs, we are going to analyze it. Uh, we want to analyze a string. You know a string is flexible, it can vibrate. So we're going to analyze the vibration of a string using PDEs. And now in vibration of a string, a spring, we shall talk about uh, it, uh, uh, that application is in wave mechanics. So you know a string is elastic in nature. So, and they don't resist bending like other materials. So that, that vibration, that string, we're going to analyze it using what? PDEs. So, uh, Let's go further. So I'm going to avoid the notation of PDEs. How did you not know PDEs? How did you not know them? Since we said PDEs are partial derivatives, that means our this symbol must be this kind of symbol. It's partial. It must not be a It must not be like this. This, this is not partial. This is total derivative. When is this D? This is total what? Derivative. But now when write like this, this one is called a partial derivative. It's very important. Now, when it is the rest of the time, that means we can either write it as in simply, you can write as u with the two dots on top. This is a partial derivative, a second order respect to time when there are two dots on top. But this is second order, that's why the square squared. When it's when, when it's uh, in a um, degree one or first order, it will be u dot the same as partial or respect to u respect to what t. Just know how to denote this PD is. So number two, we are going to also see. A second order derivative respect to space. A space can be like that distance, that distance x. That's what we call space. So now like this point derivative with respect to space, we use two primes. U downward prime is same as partial of u respect to x or u x x with substitutes, the two of them. This is second order. 
But when it's first order, we write as this. We write as u x. The same as partial of u respect what to x. Alasan the word add to denote the speed is because when you add and denote them, you are going to analyze the wave equation, the heat equation, the Laplacian equation, the poison equation. You shall, you shall not fail to understand them. Please just note that when I denote PD is, this I will denote them because they are partial derivatives. So it can either be respect, uh, the, the variables can either be x, y, and t. As we say, when it's x and y and t, this is what? Second, no, two dimensional PD is. When it's in x and t alone, it is one dimensional. So uh, in all through our discussion, we shall analyze how to model the wave equation, then how to solve that wave equation. Number two, we shall also know how to model a heat equation. Then if you need not model a heat equation, we shall also know how to solve it. Then we shall also model the Laplacian equation, then we shall also know how to solve it. Then the Poisson equation, we shall also know what, what the equation looks like, then how to model it, then how to solve it. But this equation is here, they can either be in what? One dimension, one D, or in what? Two dimension, that's two D. So I told you, when it's one dimensional, that means in terms of X and T. That's what we call a one dimensional, a one dimensional heat equation. It's in terms of X, which is space and time. Now when it's in two dimensions, it's in terms of X, Y and T. So, we shall analyze all this. Then now, what steps are you going to follow if, if I deal with systems? As I told you in PDEs, we are going to model systems, we are going to solve them, we are going to analyze systems. Are you seeing that? We shall analyze a heat equation, we shall analyze how it flows through a shaft, how, how fluid, fluids flow through pipes. Then we shall now analyze how a, the vibration of a string. So, how do you analyze those? We analyze it using these five simple steps. So please, uh, before we go to the next video, I want us first to know how to, to, uh, how, how, how to analyze the PD using these five steps. Please notice that very well. The first step is we select the element within the system for analysis. So you know, maybe if I'm considering uh, a wave equation, let, let me assume a vibration of a wave. So let me assume small, a vibration of a wave like this. Let me assume the vibration is in, in, in one dimension, that means in terms of x and t. We said x is what? Space. Then t is time. So let me assume uh, this is the x-axis. So let us assume the string is vibrating. Okay? Vibrating. Mm -hmm. uh, as the string vibrates, we shall take some assumptions. An assumption we shall learn more in, in what? In a wave equation. But for now, I want to just show you how we set the element for analysis. So assuming this is the, what, the wave, the, the string vibrating, we shall assume some two points in the string, point A and one, point B. So this point A and B will give us an element in the string. That element you are going to consider for what? Analysis. Number two, we shall set the PDE at every point in the system. Then, the most important we are going to talk about boundary what? Conditions and initial conditions. So to solve a PDE, you must be able to set Boundary conditions and initial conditions. So boundary conditions is uh, when uh, you can assume when the distance x is zero or when x is what l. As I assume for you the shaft, the shaft like that for this case, it's a shaft. We are going to consider the boundary condition. Now let me assume the shaft is of length what l. The length what the length l. So we are going to take the boundary condition. What happens in the shaft when x is what zero initially? We are going to consider what happens in the shaft. When x is what is L. I recall PD is and we are done. Then after that, you consider initial conditions. The initial conditions is all about time. We are going to set when time is zero. What happens? When time t is what? Zero. That's the initial condition. But when the condition when x is L, when x is zero and x when x is L. Then after that, we shall now see which model will satisfy the boundary conditions. So after doing all this, that means you have now known how to model and analyze a system. So we are going to test when, uh, when the constant is less than zero, when the constant is greater than zero. Let me show maybe, we are going to test when x is, when lambda constant less than zero, when a constant lambda is equal to zero, when a constant lambda is what? Greater than zero. So we shall see which of these conditions will satisfy the PDE. Is it when, when the constant is less than zero, or when it's equal, or when it's greater than? We shall analyze all this. Thank you very much to watch my video. Uh, 
So the next video we shall analyze the wealth equation in details. Here we just a brief overview. We shall analyze how to solve this wave equation, then how we well, first got model it, then we know how to solve it. We talk about the heat equation, you will see how things are simple. Thank you very much for watching my video. I encourage you please uh, subscribe to my video. It is called Repost Lectures. Please comment, uh, please uh, share my videos and uh, I love you so much. Be next time as we analyze the wave equation. See you next time.